guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a huge Eurovision fan as well as a musician. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the Netherlands entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. It will be my first listen, so I'm really excited. But firstly, I just want to make a little request, just bring something up briefly, because I've had quite a similar kind of stream of comments over the last few weeks or throughout this Eurovision season, either kind of criticising the order that I'm reacting in of all the songs, the gaps between videos that I'm not uploading daily, people asking me after a day, why haven't I uploaded again, stuff like that. Another one was why is there no subtitles, things like that. I know, I know it comes from a good place. I know you guys mean well when you say that, but what happens is it puts a bit of a monkey on my back and it brings me this unnecessary stress and it makes me feel like I'm under pressure to do daily churning out videos and I physically can't do it. I work a very difficult job, I work in finance. It's busy season right now because financial year ends are in December so we're auditing and preparing the figures across the first couple months of 2023. It's very busy, sometimes I'm working 12, 14 hours a day and I physically just can't make a video I can't reply to comments and I can't just keep up with stuff. I'm not that kind of YouTuber and I'm sorry if you, some of you are under the impression that I'm a kind of regular uploader or I'm keeping up with things. I can't do it. I wish I could do it. I wish I could be like ESC Tom, you know, as soon as a song comes out, he's reacted to it or REJC or like Groot ESC doing these marathon daily live streams now. You know, I wish I could do things like that, but I physically don't have the time. And I just ask you guys to be patient and respectful of my boundaries as a YouTuber and just let me do things in my own time because I do not want to feel stressed about this. This is supposed to be nice. And yeah, I just ask if you could refrain from doing comments like that. Where are you? When's the next video? These kind of pressury comments like that because it doesn't help me and I need to feel relaxed when I do this kind of thing because it's supposed to be fun. Um, but there's no criticism of anyone who has been saying that it's just a, a request on my part anyway um so let's get back into this so i'm going to be listening to the netherlands entry this year i haven't heard it yet and i'm really excited to see how this one goes it's mia nikolai and dion cooper with burning daylight sounds like a very interesting title i'm wondering whether it's going to be a kind of indie somber vibe I'm interested to see what the duet lines sound like as well, given that it's a male and female um, singer. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I will score the song out of 10 and let me know down below in the comments what you think of this song. Stay tuned and let's get straight into this. Ooh. Oh, the sound of the piano is so nice. I don't nice. find any joy anymore from oh, the no. same old cycle. Please don't narrate my life. <laughs> don't know what made me happy before. From all to zero. Where did I go? Oh. Between falling and running, I've been trying to get on my feet in time. Oh, rhythms are really nice there. I've never been good at crying, always wanted to be the tough type. Sorry, I'm just human. I'm losing Ooh. myself on chasing her. Oh, melodically, I'm so strong. Myself on chasing her. I'm burning daylight. Ooh. Mm. It's like a hand solo hairstyle, that. Okay, right. First initial thoughts on this. This is exactly what I was expecting in terms of the somberness and the very kind of muted tones visually and sonically, which I really like. I think what you've got here is a very strong melody line that is using syncopated rhythms in the pre-chorus and the use of kind of emotion in his voice is elevating that already strong melody line even further. The capacity of this duet sounds great because her lovely duet lines were so kind of ethereal, high up, decorating his voice, blending so nicely. Um, and then under all of that, you've got this beautiful piano line. 
the piano was actually melodically interesting as an accompaniment as well. It wasn't playing block chords. It was almost echoing the melody that he was singing or, or kind of giving us a teaser of a later melody, perhaps the chorus. I'll have to work it out when I listen to it further. But the piano was definitely giving some interest, which I thought was great. It's not making the song lag and it's not making the song stale. So I really like this so far. Let's hear the um, the female part of this. Really interested to see how this goes. I sense we're building up and I sense we might get some kind of drum coming in at some point. But so far, I like I'm it. Even God anymore, Let me just go back a sec. I was slightly worried that there was a slip of auto-tune there in the high note. I just want to see how that was. When she stretched up to the higher note there, there was a little kind of robotic flip and it might not be there, I could just be hearing things, but that is disappointing if it they've kind of revealed that. Um, let's just see again. Yeah, it's there. But I can forgive it for now. Oh, yeah. I love these backing vocals. I'm sorry, I'm just human. I'm losing my soul, but chasing Is that? church bells or something or a guitar can't quite hear I'm scared that I'm falling behind I'm losing myself I'm chasing high. I'm losing myself I'm chasing is quite one note so far in terms of they're both singing the same um, melody line. I would have liked to hear a bit more harmonies when they both came in for the second chorus. I think it might have punctuated the song a bit more. Um, it's a bit monophonic, but maybe in a bit they will add a duet line. If it's not in the song, a suggestion I guess would be in the live performance, write in a two-part harmony to really kind of bring out more emotion. But I think everything else is there and it sounds great. I think they've got really nice voices as well. Um, let's hear the ending. Mm. Mm. Nice use of the second sustain note in the chord. Nice. Oh, nice strings as well very delicately in the corner of the track. Bit more harmony. Mm. Nice ending there. I think it was a, a nice sort of stretching out of that chorus, making it um, develop a bit further in terms of the melodic approach. Um, so that we had this sort of outro rather than a third chorus, which was a nice touch and a nice way to kind of keep the interest going in the song. Um, I have to say, I think I preferred the male version, um, the male verse out of everything. I think he had the most um, musicality in there. And I don't know, I think, D is it Dion Cooper? I think that's the guy. Um, they have quite androgynous names. Maybe Mia's the girl, the Mia could also be a boy, I don't know. Um, but I think I really liked his approach. Um, I also liked the other vocal, the female vocal, apart from that tiny kind of um, auto-tune inflection in there, that was a bit surprising and it could have easily been avoided. Um, so I hope that their vocal performance live is good as well it has to be strong because it is quite a laid-back sombre song so the live performance has to be very very visually engaging intimate and really kind of hold the um the viewer's attention i think it has the potential to do that so i don't have any kind of qualms about that so far i think what we may have needed was 
I reckon an electric guitar that had been reverberated so it, it wasn't kind of a crunchy sound but a really nice sort of twang adding that in a little bit kind of more at the forefront of the track providing a counter melody to what they were singing in the second chorus when they were singing in unison that could alternatively be a good choice to make as well i think that would make the song feel even more indie and acoustic as well um but overall i really enjoyed it i thought that was a nice touch and i'm kind of a bit torn as to what score to give it whether it should be a seven and a half or an eight because i think arguments can be made for both i think i'll stick to a seven and a half for now and then give it more listens later and when i do my final top 37 in hopefully not too long now um i will let you know the updated score but thanks for watching anyway and obviously uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think of this stay tuned for more content coming soon and have a good evening bye